Hey guys, this is Anna Dia from Canvas Homepage Building and Design, and this is a tutorial on how to do DIV coding. Uh, please don't get it confused with dynamic DIV coding, because it's a whole different ballgame. Um, if you could, pause this video about now or so, and get the code ready and put it into a new document. Alright, so now that we've got the coding down, we're going to go through it step by step so you guys aren't so confused. The center will center your layout onto the page. The font face, Fernanda size 1, color white. Fernanda size 1 is the standard for IMV home pages. It's used most commonly. Um, size 1 will be your small font. You can always change the size. Um, and the Fernanda font, you can change it to be any font you want. There is specified codes to get it to be like extravagant looking fonts. Um, if you want to change the font and the code, make sure they're universal fonts, so that, and I mean, universal fonts, I'm talking about your Arial, your Comic Sans, your Fernanda, your Times New Roman, those. Um, things like Chiller and Broadway won't show up correctly. It'll just look like Arial. Your color, um, you can do the code color, like a color chart, or you can just do a word. Either one works. If you're looking for a specific color, like a certain shade of pink, like you, you need to use the code. Um, IMG SRC, image URL. This is your actual image. Um, when you get done drawing your image, you need to upload it to Photo Bucket or Image Shack. And both of those, you're going to use direct link. That's what you're going to put there. Your width is always going to be 900. Um, there is rumor that it doesn't matter if it's 900, but for our tutorials, and to rather be safe than sorry, we're going to say go ahead and keep the width 900. Your height is whatever height you end up with on your layout. And we're going to get to this right here. Div ID and then slash div. This is a box. Think about it as a box. Okay, so let's look at the layout. I'm using one of mine from my shop. So I've got one, two, three, four boxes. So I'll need four of those. So write your code, highlight all this like I have, copy it, press enter. So that I have four. This one is going to be main box. Make sure, I mean, you don't have to rename them, but I'm going to say, like, you don't have to name them, this is like, main box, you, you can do whatever you want, but I find it easier, so that's more organized. The shop box, this is going to be the right box, avatar. Let's start from the top. If you're not using GIMP, um, Fry from the HBAD has made a tutorial on Photoshop, and that will be a whole other video. You can use Photoshop for your coordinates, so that'll be coming soon. If you know, if it's already done, it'll probably be a link in the description, so check there. Um, so let's start at the beginning. You're gonna take your selection tool, which is up here in the upper left. You're going to click and drag over the area where your text is going to go. For mine, it's going to go right here. Okay. Um, look down in the left corner where it says rectangle colon and then it has six sets of numbers. Those will be your dimensions for the box. So 272 by 272. I'll go here, 272 by 279. Okay, you're going to do that for all the boxes. But before we move on, we have the selection. You're going to go ahead and measure it. You're going to measure it left, and you're going to measure it top. How you do this, you're going to go to the left side. You're going to hover over the right hand side of this right here, the handle. Pull all the way over until you hit the dotted line. When you line up the dotted line, the left hand number is what you're going to need 364. 
Okay. And you're going to take the bottom and you're just going to pull over to the top until it matches up with the dotted line at the top. And then you're going to want your right hand number at the bottom, which is 223. Index one, don't worry about that. Position absolute so that your box doesn't move. Overflow auto. That's the one that you're really going to need to watch on these boxes. Overflow auto um, allows the box to scroll. Meaning, you know, if you're one pixel, like, if you're one pixel off, you know, where you have like a line of text that's not visible, it will scroll for you. So, for example, like the shout box, where you're going to have like a shout out, you know, like smoothing words. You don't want the overflow auto. Same thing with your avatar box. You don't want the overflow auto. So, to write in these boxes, you can put, I'm going to do center, and I'm going to be like, hello, and uncenter it. Okay. Your shout box, for me, is right up here. Shout box. Two ninety six fourteen. And then you're just gonna keep doing that for all of these. And you're just gonna keep going, okay? Um as we go through oh the shout box needs to take off the overflow auto, so from semicolon to semicolon. Backspace. Make sure the quote's still there. Same thing with the avatar box. I've had users ask me how big is an avatar box supposed to be. It's almost going to be 160 by 220. That's how big your avatar box is. Okay. Now, that's all you'll need for this layout. After you get it, all the coordinates and stuff done and get That's all you're going to need for this layout. Um, you can go to GAF site. You can go to IMV Move. Um, and find your avatar image at IMV. You can do hidden music and all that works. Uh, videos will be coming on that soon. Permission of Gaff and Antonio82. And that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, please comment in the thread on Facebook, on the HBAD, in this video, and we'll get back to you as quick as lightning. Happy holidays.